A fast moving fire destroyed parts of an apartment building in Ingham County, and tonight there are a lot of people without a home. It's our top story at five. Thank you for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer. The fire started this morning at Knob Hill Apartments in Okemos, and fire crews had to work fast to get some people away from the flames, even rescuing some from balconies just minutes before the roof caved in. Darlin Horn has been on the scene all day getting updates for you, and she is here for you now live. Darlin, what else have you learned tonight? Yes, Siobhan, we've been here since about 11 this morning and residents told me actually that they smell smoke as early as 830 this morning. Now, we did get an update from the Meridian Township Police Chief who tells me that this all started from a couch fire. And if you take a look to my left here, you can see that they're still trying to put out pockets of fire even this late into the afternoon and they're going to be here all night. They were even rescuing people from the balconies as early as this morning. And of course, you can tell or even imagine that residents are in disbelief at what has happened here today. It just doesn't turn off. They thought they turned it off, but then the fire started again. Vin Amin and her five other family members say they woke up to flames in their hallway. She explains how she felt in those moments. I, I got scared. Yeah. I was really scared. I was going to cry. The fire at Knob Hill Apartments in Okemos started around 1030 this morning inside the building where the leasing office is, along with 17 other units. Fire officials from Lansing, East Lansing, and Mason were here to respond, along with Meridian Township Police. Brandon's unit is just a few feet away from where it happened. I'm really, really hopeful that everyone got out of that building, though. That looks absolutely destroyed right now. He means residents like Megan, whose apartment is completely flooded now. She says she's disappointed this happened right before Christmas. It's really tragic. We had a lot of Christmas plans and my grandparents were planning on coming down today and now we don't even know what we're doing with anything. Like we don't have a place to live right now and our apartment is ruined. So it's really scary to think about um, how fast it changes. Vin says she hopes everyone else got out in time just like her and her family. I think they're all out safely. Okay. Now the management company of this building are teaming up with the Red Cross to help as many residents as they can and they, and they have gotten some hotel rooms for the people affected in this tragedy. If you guys want to take another look, they are still putting out pockets of fire and it's just devastating for at least 18 units um, of this building that were affected today it, and it just keeps getting getting worse. So we'll just continue to follow this developing story and give you the very latest tonight at 6. Here for you in Okemos, Darylin Horn, 6 News. Darlin, thank you. The Holiday Inn Express in Okemos is hosting the families and people that have been impacted by this fire, and it's accepting donations at the front desk for anyone who would like to help out.